Hello, it's Sarah, and I am back to share my last Dragon's Eye. This is one of three that I've done. These are, um, I want to say five by five, one, two, three, four by four inch. It's called a cradle board, and I got them on clearance at Michael's. And I just decided to create a Dragon's Eye a little bit bigger um, in a... Uh, Honor and inspired by um, <clears throat> Chris Capono. She's a polymer clay artist. That this is a class that I took by her um, last year at Polymer Clay Adventure, which is an online um, source for classes. So I took some of the techniques that I learned in her class, and 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 the actual Dragon's Eye was a class I took as well by Chris. But this one's my favorite. Um, I did it in red. I did blue, green, and then this one in red. So reds and pinks, and I've been adding different colors of clay as well. So this was a uh, Primo Sculpey Pomegranate, which is a very bright red. A little bit of red glitter and some Primo Blush. And I mixed them together to form the base. I also have, this is just Sculpey, um, and I forget the color, oh, it's right here. This is just Sculpey, which is super soft, but it's called Candy Pink. It's like a fluorescent pink. And after you, um, what's it called, antique everything or patina everything, it doesn't come up as bright, so it's kind of cool. Um, I definitely had a mistake. I put spikes here, and when I was patining, I broke every single one of them off. They just broke off, and I have a feeling it's because they were with the Sculpey 3. Now, Sculpey is not as strong of a clay, so if you're using it to do a small piece, you know, I wouldn't recommend that. Um, I was bummed. I mean, I thought I had to scrap the whole thing, but I ended up taking my X-Acto knife and just popping off the clay here and kind of <clears throat> smoothing it down. And then I used the Sculpey Bacon Bond. I just put a little bit on each, because it was already baked after they broke. And to get the, the raw clay to stick, you have to adhere it with, uh, this is just liquid clay, basically. And then I baked it again for about, um, but I used the, the pink because I wanted, I had pink, pink, pink. I needed it to, you know, I wanted to play with that. So um, I did that again, but I only baked it at 15 minutes. That's a thing like Sculpey 3. What I mean by that is it says Sculpey, and there's three little bars. But this says 275 for 15 minutes per quarter inch. And then the regular Primo, this is, I have, wait, I have to find a Primo one. Primo is 275 for 30 minutes per square inch. So I don't know if that's, it's double the baking time, which I don't know. I just put it back in for 15 minutes and luckily it looked okay. So, I mean, I'd rather have the spikes there, but um, I'm pretty, I'm really happy with it. And mainly because I added this vining. Um, so I pulled the green from the eye. Now let me tell you about this eye. This eye is a totally different technique that I got from Tracy Boland. Hi Tracy, thank you so much. Tracy is one of my subscribers that posted her Dragon's Eye that she made um, on my Facebook page. And my Facebook page is working out great because I am actually getting to see the stuff that you guys create. Some of you are posting all the time. Sue posts all the time, a lot of you do. So um, that's fun for me because I don't get to know you guys the way you feel like you know me. I don't know you. I just see your names on the description, but it's not this, I mean, on the comments. Anywho, Tracy did, um, she linked me to this tutorial, which is done by, I'll link it in my description box, um, Me and Mum Crafts. And she did it differently. And I love the way she did it. And I used a bigger, a much bigger um, gem that I, than I had used previously because I wanted it to really show and um, I love it. I love the way, I'll show you. Here's my other two. So these eyes I did based on the way I did it in the tutorial 
um, putting white clay behind and then using mica powders to create the color and these aren't even that exciting this is looking like it's just yellow or gold and but I've used other colors where are my, my other dragon's eyes are over there anyway this I actually used green clay so this green eye starts out as the light green clay I think it's this color I think I used this color and then well I'll put the link in the description and the, actually the pupil I was just painting on the back of the gem with my um, Posca with my paint pen but this one is clay so I don't know and I, I don't think it turned out as great as it could but it certainly is different and you do add mica powders to it and I think I'm gonna be doing that one again I like that technique I think it's a richer and you can use any color of clay so I could use a yellow clay, like you know orange red you know so we'll see I'm gonna play with that some more um what else did I want to tell you about it basically it's the same as we talked about in all the other ones I've done the same techniques um, making marks on the clay with different stamps any stamps you have I ended up cutting mine apart which was I like that I did that because they're easier to handle let's see I didn't use that one I used the um, kisses and hugs I call it the kisses and hugs I'll zoom in but basically it's just a piece of a stamp that I just went around and put a few put my finger behind it and put a few kisses and hugs on there then this one had these cool roses you see these roses so I mean I could have used the flaming heart that would have been cool but I just went around and there's a few roses let's see so there's remnants of roses here they got kind of, I didn't push as hard, but they're there. They're visible. I see them. And then I used, but there's little flowers on this one that I could have put on there. Um, what else? I love my script stamp, so I cut this script stamp. This, these are, I'm pretty sure these are Lisa Pavelka. I don't know the names of them because they're out of the packaging. And I probably got them online. I didn't use these. This is called tooled leather. And I think I'm going to use that in the, in the next video I do. I'm going to do a, a little tutorial. I might use this one too. But this is so busy. I think I'm going to use the tooled leather. I love the tooled leather. It's really pretty. But I cut these apart. And they're just easier to handle. And I put some script on here. So you see the script. And it's whatever you like. You guys put whatever you like. Um... And then this one. I just I just like this one. It's an old Tim Holtz. Um, I don't even know what set it came from. But what I like about when you put it in the clay, you do you get these these leaves and flower petals very nicely. These kind of flourishy patterns. And then there's dots. Like you see these? These make really kind of deep etched dots. So when you push that into the clay, and I don't know if I can see, you can definitely, any of these lines, these swirly lines, are all from that. And some of these deep lines, see right here, this is definitely from this. And I just like it. I mean, you guys might not like it, but as a, as a just a basically um, a indention that can anything that will catch the paint because when you're finished creating this you add patina and this time I added uh, like a reddish black it's not straight black I, I mixed black and black cherry so it wouldn't be as stark but it's still I use the it's it is very dark um, and then fi at the final point I add my um, there's a little bit of pink and red uh, not rub and buff, but um, the other stuff, this stuff here, I think the gold. So this, and it's just a, a waxy rub. And it just adds a brightness, so it brings some luster back to the piece. And um, I love it. I love this one. And I think it is because I love color and adding the extra color into here has been, has made the difference for me. I'm going to go up a little. Sorry, guys. 
But these are all techniques I did, um, let's see, I don't know if I shared, uh, I think I'm going to get some mirrors though. Tonight we're going to see my son James and he lives near Hobby Lobby. So I think I want to go in and get a couple um, of mirrors that are like this size. And I might do some on mirror because I think like on this one I didn't add any of the gems. I added um, jewelry findings. See these blings are jewelry findings and there's a little flower there. Um, this one has a jewelry finding but I didn't add any of these. These like the colored gems which I love. And when you put them on mirror, because this is a mirror, the light reflects back at you. So I don't think I'm finished with these yet. I'm not finished playing anyway. Um, because they, they just, I don't know, and I definitely want to try a couple more of the eyeballs like that in some different colors. So, I have to paint the backs. I'm going to just paint them. I'm going to sign them and put hangers on them. I'm going to just nail a little hanger in there. And I think I'm going to put these in my Etsy store. Now, be patient with me. I know I've been saying that for at least a month. Um, it's summer and we just, my husband's off this, he took off for two weeks. So we've been going out and doing things and, um, you know, I think once school starts again and like life gets back to normal, um, I will be hopefully loading up my Etsy store. All right, you guys. So that's it. Those are the three that I did with those, uh, cradle boards. And I love them. I love them. But look at this one. This one's the winner. I just like it because it has the extra color in there. Alright, you guys. Thanks for watching.